Hi, it's Anya Devine here. I think this is day 11. I'm not sure though, uh, of 30 Days with Anya. If you want to know more about me, have a look at the links below. Um, <clears throat> I'm here at Kakenzie House and Gardens, beautiful um, venue where my studio is. And I decided to paint this tree that I've been looking at and wanting to paint for a long time. And uh, I'm going to do that now in about 10 minutes and uh, 14 minutes. Um, and I wanted to say, don't let the sunshine fool you. It's bloody freezing. Oh, sorry, I said I wasn't going to swear. Anyway, so here we are. I'm going to make a start. Um, and I hope you can see me and see the picture well enough. Okay, yeah. So we've got some uh, ink here to begin with. I thought I might just kind of get something down to establish the feeling of the tree first. Um, and I can tell you more about the materials I've used in the links below rather than kind of disturb the momentum of it now. <clears throat> Just want to say it's really good fun this. Okay. Um, This is a rag dipped into water just to allow me to wipe away some of the excess. I think it's a great idea to allow lines and shapes to overshoot when you first apply the stuff to the page because then you have the capacity to make sense of it. Bring I don't even like that phrase, make sense of it. It's already a sensible thing to be doing, I think. But, um, just to kind of hone hone in <clears throat> as you go, you know, you have the possibility to do that if you've already overshoot, overshot. So the thing is, you can make a wild goose tame, but you can't make a tame goose wild. I never came up with that quote, but I love it. Um, um, <clears throat> right. I'm just going to focus here now. This is the wild goose, and as the time goes on, I'll be taming it down. Um, I'll actually turn it upside down to allow some of those drips to create branches. And I think if I just put some, fling some water at it, it might do that on its own even. Okay. I like the diagonal of the tree as it runs through the page. No. On this side, there'll be some grass down here. And I might actually collage that on. So I've got some medium here, an acrylic medium and roller. I couldn't find the PVA glue today, so I'm just using an acrylic medium to stick on the paper. And I think I'll... Um, Stick some on here and here. I'm hoping the acrylic medium works like for as glue. We'll see. We'll soon find out. Jesus. Do you know what? No, the easel isn't really working very well for me. I need a hammer or something to kick that in. Okay. So I've put on some glue here to describe the grass. And I've got some painted paper as well. This is a magazine, um, just like gardening magazine or something. But I've also got some green painted paper in my other hand uh, under my arm here that I used for a children's art class. And I think it's just the colour to describe that. Um, sunshiny yellowy grass. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Okay. I could 
could do with more of that like thicker glue because I don't like it flapping about the place too much. Not in this instance anyway. I think it's a, a lovely thing when you learn something new in every painting. Every every painting you do you will learn something new, even if it is not to be bored. But um yeah, I just did that also. Okay. Right. Okay, what else can I do? I'm just gonna half close my eyes and decide what it is that needs to be established here. And the thing with the ink is that it's gonna take a while to dry, so I got a bit impatient with it and instead I'm gonna use acrylic paint which will dry quicker. You probably can't see a thing there when I'm working, can you? I'm just going to trust that you see enough. Okay, so that was a mix of ultramarine blue and uh, Van Dyke brown, I think. And all these branches are heading up. They're kind of creating a bit of chaos with the sky behind them. So I'm just going to do this for now and see what else comes to me. Sorry, there's a wire there. Okay, a bit of water will lift off the acrylic in between in order that I can make it read the sky a little bit. And just make it a bit wetter. This is that brown and blue. It's still there. I'm not sure if it's still working, but I'll keep going anyway. Okay, I'm not going to do an awful lot more actually. I quite like using oil pastels sometimes to make sense of things. Don't really need that one. Mm. Actually, I could use some oil pastel in the front. It's kind of bothering me that the light has gone from the screen, but it's probably because the phone is low on battery. I'm hoping that you're still there. If you're not, I'll just do this another day. It's good fun anyway. Okay. So this is oil pastel. And it's doing a funny thing over the Marvin medium, but it kind of works, I think. Maybe I could use some acrylic paint here as well. With the extra big brush. and some orange so that it's not such a pure yellow it's quite good for the grass okay and then there's a kind of a grey with the building is a bit grey in the background so I'm just gonna turn this oil pastel on its side and describe the grey of the building and maybe a, a bit of the flashes of sky that are coming through there and that'll be me done then I need to check out if this video's worked or not oh for goodness sake my fingers are so cold I can't take the paper off the pastel right here we are 
see that colour? That's just right for that shadow in the building. It allows me to cut in a bit as well into the tree a bit more and increase that diagonal 